Hello, guys. Boy, it turned off nice today. Marsha and I and the kids got the got us a bed planted of garlic. We probably had probably 50, at least 50 cloves of garlic we put in the ground. So we'll see how that comes out. Those garden beds are going to be pretty nice. Get them set up right. Got a squirrel over here. It's a red squirrel. And uh, driving down the driveway one day, that thing ran in front of the car. Down one, two, down to the third pole down there, down on down on the hill. Before it jumped across the fence. So. <laughs> He'd run a little bit and stop and watch us. And we kept coming and he'd run a little bit and stop and stand up, you know, and watch. But he finally jumped across the fence and went up in the trees. It's been a beautiful day. Well, look at there. There's a flower up here. In the, look at that. I seen one of them out in our yard today. We don't see very many of those this time of year. It's warm enough for them. I'm in shorts and short sleeve shirt. I was barefoot out this morning or this afternoon early until it cooled off enough that we had to go get some shoes on. But that clear sky, they're saying somebody says it's supposed to snow here Tuesday. Ah, uh, we'll see. <laughs> it's been snow, and then it, the projected forecast was for Saturday was going to be back up to 70. But we'll see how it all comes out. Yep. I remember when we first moved out here that there was a big tree across the road where I'm standing and locked us in down here for a I don't remember how long it was. It was a week or better without any power and no way to get out. Oh, we didn't have a chainsaw. I had no way to get out. It was a massive tree. And we had to replace this fence over here. But, yeah, it's pretty neat. Well, let's see what I've got here in my, my book today. Set up right here, and it turned off windy up here on this hill. I may have to redo this video. I get down there, and the wind's too strong. It's going to blow in something up here. I believe it will. Hmm. All right, let's see what we got here. First Thessalonians 5 and verse 20. Uh, Three words in it. Scorn not the prophecies. That's all in verse 20 in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 20. So let's see what the references come to it. Sometimes these can be pretty good. And sometimes they say, whoa. whoa. <laughs> but when we read them in context, I wish I could figure out a way to make these scriptures stay on the screen longer. I've looked at it and I cannot figure out how to make them stay more than I don't know what it is what two seconds three seconds at the most if that but I don't know how to do that yet I gotta do some some practice runs and see I guess but anyway here's the references to 1st Thessalonians 520 which says scorn not to prophecies every man praying or prophesying having aught on his head is disgracing his head now to each one is being given the manifestation of the Spirit with a view to expedience. For to no one indeed through the Spirit is being given the word of wisdom, yet another the word of knowledge according to the same Spirit, yet to another by the same Spirit, to another the grace of healing by the one Spirit, yet to another operations of powerful deeds. 
and yet to another prophecy, yet to another discrimination of spirits, and yet to another species of languages, to another translation of languages. Now all these, one and the same spirit is operating, opportunely to each his own, according as he is intending. Now, you are the body of Christ and members of the part, whom also God placed, God indeed placed in the ecclesia, first as apostles and second as prophets. Third, teachers, thereupon powers, and thereupon graces of healing, supports, villages, species of languages. And not all are apostles and not all are prophets. Not all are teachers and not all have powers not all have the grace of healing. Not all are speaking languages. Not all are interpreting. Yet be zealous for the greater graces. And I am still showing you a path suited to transcendence. If I should be speaking in the languages of men and of the messengers, yet should have no love, I have become resounding copper or a clanging cymbal. And if I should have prophecy and should be perceiving all secrets and all knowledge, and if I have, and if I should have all faith, so as to, to transport mountains yet have no love, I am nothing. For God's fellow workers are we, God's farm, God's building are you. So be pursuing love, yet be zealous for spiritual endowments, yet rather that you may be prophesying, for he who is speaking in a language is not speaking to men, but to God. For no one is hearing, yet in spirit he is speaking secrets. Yet he who is prophesying is speaking to men for edification and consolation and comfort. He who is speaking in a language is edifying himself. Yet he who is prophesying is edifying the ecclesia. Now I want you all to be speaking in the languages, yet rather that you may be prophesying, for greater is he who is prophesying than he who is speaking in languages. Outside and except he may be interpreting that the ecclesia may be getting edification. Yet now, brethren, if I should be coming to you speaking in languages, what shall I be benefiting you if ever I should not be speaking to you either in revelation or in knowledge or in prophecy or in teaching? So that languages are for a sign, not to the believers, but to the unbelievers. Yet prophecy is not for the unbelievers, but for believers. If then the whole ecclesia should be coming together in the same place, and all should be speaking in languages, yet should plain persons or unbelievers be entering, will they not be declaring that you are mad? <laughs> now if all should be prophesying, Yet some unbeliever or plain person be entering, he is exposed by all. He is being examined by all. The hidden things of his heart are becoming apparent, and thus falling on his face, he will be worshiping God, reporting that God is really among you. Now as to prophets, let two or three speak, and let others discriminate. Yet, if it should be revealed to another sitting by, let the first hush, for you can all be prophesying one by one, that all may be learning and all be consoled, and the spiritual endowments of prophets are subject to the prophets. If anyone is presuming to be a prophet or spiritual, let him be recognizing that what I am writing to you is a precept, a precept of the Lord. Now if anyone is ignorant, let him be ignorant. So that, my brethren, be zealous to be prophesying and the speaking in languages do not forbid. Yet let all occur respectably and in order. He who descends is the same who ascends also, up over all who are of the heavens, that he should be completing all. And the same one gives these indeed as apostles, yet these as prophets, yet these as evangelists, and yet these as pastors and teachers, for the adjusting of the saints, for the work of dispensing. For the upbuilding of the body of Christ. Surely in consequence then. He who is 
repudiating is not repudiating man but God who is also giving his Holy Spirit to you Wow that's references to 1st Thessalonians 5 and verse 20 and I could not add anything to that no nope. <laughs> it's going off the prophecies yeah most of that looks like was wrote to the Corinthians uh, looks like it's all in Corinthians most of it so anyway I know that uh, I don't add the scripture so I'm not going to explain any of that <laughs> it's all well I guess some uh, well it's smarter than me to go through that but anyway that's the references if you go look up references to that and now we've got it I see smoke down at the house that's uh we got a fire uh, a wood stove on the outside of the house it's a wood furnace and it heats our hot water so it must have kicked in somebody's if they get in a shower the water temperature drops and the stove kicks up <laughs> that's something but anyway it's cooled off it must have dropped oh it's probably dropped 15 degrees since i got up here and uh, that wind's kicked up a lot so we're just going to blow in a storm anyway it's time for me to get myself back together and get back down to the home front and uh, wrap this thing up so, grace and peace to y'all Marsh and I appreciate you and we'll talk to y'all tomorrow see you then